What's up, everyone? Netherboy back with more Dyson Sphere program for you. Episode 137, finishing up the um, mall, converting the mall to an interstellar mall over here. Uh, and we just need to get this finished, and then we're going to do a few other things. And we'll start uh, building mall receiving locations on other planets, like Cowboy 1981, where we need a lot of smelts and stuff like that. We're going to start setting that up, too. Um, we might probably, we'll probably start that on this episode. Let's just do uh, the painter for this. And just upgrade everything. Oh, we must be upgrading belt here. That's weird. That's strange. I can't believe there's that much belt to upgrade, to be honest. Conveyor belt mark ones. Okay. We don't want that. Let's upgrade all this stuff. Why are you why are, why are we having Mark 1 belts in here? Huh. Well, I did not know we had all this upgrade needing to happen. Okay. Well, that's cool. The painter is really neat that way. What's it upgrading? Just belt? Yeah, more belt. Yeah, this doesn't have anything because it's a modern build. Oh, that sorter's being upgraded too. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Oops. Oops, but not oops at the same time. Like, who really cares? Okay, so. How are how are the motors doing? They're doing well, actually. They're doing really well, actually. Okay, so we're going to start putting stuff on our bus. On our logistics thing. So, we probably need to do it as close to over here as possible. I don't have any of those now, because I've got to go get some. And I'm just going to pick them up off the belt. That way we won't get 9,000 of these. Well, we don't have any on the belt. So, we can't. We have orbital guys. We should probably do that before those get sucked in. We need we need about ten of these because we need to expand our um. Let, let's do ten. Oh, ten, perfect. It only picked up one. We got to expand our hydrogen um dudes basically on uh, the next thing here. So let's get some of these. Really, only want a couple. I wish left click worked. It doesn't do anything. Left click should pick up one or five or something. But right-click just picks all of them up. 59. Cool, it picked up half. I don't want half. <laughs> I don't want that many, and then i got to mess with it. And it, This is a really bad system. It's just a bug or something. The bug is pretty bad in this. These bugs are bad. Uh, see, now it won't, it won't put more in there unless I do this, and then I have to readjust this whole thing. I don't want to do that. Planetaries. Okay, this guy too. But I want to... Nope. I didn't let go. See, it will only put... Well, do you do it like this? See how it's not letting me pick up just some? I don't know why that's happening. I didn't look it up. You know what? I'm searching. I'll just do it off camera. We'll just, we'll just have to... It is what it is. I want... Um, I'm going to get 20 of these since I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to come here and do this. We're going to be using these a lot, so... And I don't really want to click like this 4,000 times. Uh, that must be... I, I think I have a bug on my own um, machine or something. It doesn't like my mouse or something like that. All right, sweet. Let's stop complaining. We've got what we want. Let's go back. We have ships. We have all that stuff. So I'm going to put it back here. I'm going to line it up with this other guy because I like doing that. It's kind of nice. And I'll put it as close to this as possible. We're only going to run five things in here. I think it goes right there. Let's do it maybe one over to give us a little bit of space. Just a tiny bit. Let's do, let's route, let's put this guy here to get some power. Maybe we'll do it on the back, actually, so it's kind of out of the way. Uh, max everything. And we want warpers because this is a, we're not close enough, in my opinion, to, to go get those other ones. We'll just put, um, there we go. The belt would be too jank. I don't want to do that. So let's give it ships. Let's give it a couple of these, because remember, we're, we're really not doing anything local except this. And we're going to want assemblers, right? We want assemblers. We want, like, at least 500 of those. Maybe 1,000. 1,000 assemblers would be good. We want um, belt 3. No. Oh, belt 3 is right there. So belt 3 will be first. Let's, let's clear that. We're going to do belt 3 first. We're going to want a lot of belt 3. What's in that box? 3,000? That sounds good to me. Let's do 3,000 of these belts. Because I might request the whole thing. 
uh, you know what? We're going to want more. I want more than that. But first, we're going to put in Assembler 2s. I want 1,000. Because I want I want a buffer. When I, when I request 2,000 of these, I want it to have a buffer. So that it, it fills up immediately. So if I have to grab them again, they're already ready. Um, then I want Mark 3 uh, sorters. Another 1,000, I think, would be good. Well, let's do 2,000 because, again, I might request 1,000 and want more. Mark 1 sorters. I want 1,000 because I usually don't request as many. And that thing is full. That's the whole thing. Can I even get those from here? Wait, Mark 3s, Mark 1s are way down here. But we can go around. I guess it's not that big of a deal. We could route them in here and just move them. I mean, that's kind of stupid, but why not? We have an extra spot. I usually like to leave those for components, but... Oh, we want sorters, too. We're going to want these guys. Hmm, we could put this on a different one. Because that's going to go, what, back, back here? Okay, that's probably far enough away. It'll probably go in right here. We can put those on this and just draw them straight in. So we'll just do mark... We'll leave a space here. All right, there we go. Let's get Mark 3s on here. That's really simple. I'm going to expand this really quick, though, because I want those to be crafted up a little bit faster. Uh, Mark 2s, we we'll probably need to expand as well, and then Mark 1s as well, which we're going to have to go more around now. I don't know. We've never had a problem in the past just leaving it this way. So we'll just, we'll just leave it this way. All right, let's pull off that box. Oh, my... Okay, we got to do this whole trick thing again. One stack. And then we do this, where we go up two. From here, and it still doesn't want to do it, so let's kill this, because that's the only way to actually get this to work sometimes. We'll draw this off, and we're going to leave some space, because I want to leave space for expansion. So we can do that, and then down. Ooh, that's actually, it was a good idea to, to do that differently like that. There we go. All right, let's rehook this up, because now we're not doing anything. Um, sorter right here. I don't think it needs to burst, but let's put a burst on there anyway. So that should move stuff from the bottom to the, to the, to the top. And it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's just taking it out faster than I can put it in. We only want this much now, though, in here. Well, maybe two stacks, because if we come get some of these, we want two of these, right? Everything else we're going to request. So let's take these out, because they will not move to the top, and just move them to the top. Well, I want to keep the. Well, I already have a bunch, so let's move all these to the top. They will fill up that dude. We can just kill these, because I don't care about them. Uh, why did it put those in there? Don't put twos. Uh-oh. It didn't. I don't think. Okay, let's kill this. Let's kill all the things. Uh, okay, I think we're good. That's everything. Cool! 60% hash per speed. So that will speed up, hopefully. Yes, look how fast it's going now. That's much better. So the, the lab just researches faster. I think they might create items faster, too. You know how we can tell? We can look at this. This should go faster now, if that's the case. I don't know. 73.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So it looks like it makes all the labs run faster. So we're actually getting more um, green science now. It's producing faster as well, so that's perfect. Oh, no, it went back down. Maybe it isn't. I'll have to go look. I don't think... I think it's the same, probably. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's look at this guy. Let's make sure that we're doing this correctly and then we didn't put mark twos on this belt no it's it's going fine all right so next thing we need to do is put this guy on there which will be a little easier because this is just a very simple box right here one two and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna leave some room for expansion and okay that stinks that's okay though uh, we'll leave room for expansion just like we did over here I think that will be plenty, and then down, and then we're going to go over with this to leave some space. All right, let's hook this guy up. Really doesn't need to burst. We'll do a burst anyway, just... Okay, that's weird. There we go. We'll burst this one, just, just why not? Cool. 
Okay, now we've got this filling up. Now let's do Mark 3s. Again, we're going to do this exact same way. We're going to leave space to expand. Oop, nope. And then up. And over. And then we're going to go... Actually, let's go over this. That actually makes it very convenient. That's very convenient that we can just go over the top of that. And then we'll go in right here. And I think we got one more thing to put on there, right? Or is that everything? That's everything. Let's go hook this guy up. What, we're 10 minutes in. This is perfect. We will burst this as well. No, why isn't it doing that? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now that guy's full. And we need to expand these. Processors are still not working. I'm having... I don't know about this. Why are we having such a hard time with processors? Why? And why are we only going to get 100 at a time? This is strange. We should be getting gangbusters of these guys. You know, we got to go over to the processing space. I don't even know what that is. Let me go look it up real fast. Is that... Uh, well, let's just look. Why well, guess? Hold on. Uh, there we go. There's my notes. Processors are on. Uh, NDX, NDX Extreme Pro. ND Extreme Pro. Chipsets. Okay. We'll go there next. Something's wrong with the processors, for sure. Um, probably because we just requested a bunch of them and they can't keep up. It's probably what's going on, but we'll see. All right, so that guy's all hooked up. Let's get the next guy hooked up, which is going to be over here. Why is this not working? You know, we could put this guy back, but he's actually supplying, so we'll just leave him there. Let's get this guy, put him over here, and I think he has to go right here. Right? Or is it right there? No, it's one back. I think that's where he goes. Let's go look closer or closely. Yeah, that's the correct spot. So this guy's going to grab at least warpers, I think. Nope, he's not set up to grab warpers. Do we want to move warpers over? Not really. It's kind of... Eh, we've already got a lot of stuff in here, and we only need to move a couple things. What are we doing on this one? This is all components. So really, we only need the two items. Mark 1s and splitters. That's it. Everything else is a component. We also probably should bring in these guys. We should start because we have we have these on a build on a different planet. So we still have this setup too. I don't know why we have that, but it's fine, I guess. Where is this thing even going? Is it going over here? Wait, where is it going? That's steel. Steel's coming in here. Then that goes over to here. And that's that's the only thing it has. We don't have this coming in remotely. Wait, what? No. Oh, we have one more spot here. Why don't we? Why don't we do that? Let's bring this in remotely and, and plumb it back to here and behind it so that when we're not producing anything, like right now, it will produce something. Uh, let's do that really fast. I know we're not really supposed to, not really doing that right now. This, this guy needs warpers, though. So we need a new one. Actually, why don't we do it right here? Oh, that's perfect. I mean, I don't know if it'll fit, but... Oh, it will! Really want to do it on the same line. Okay, let's get some foundation out. Let's do this. This looks cool. There we go. Alright, made some space. Let's put this guy on the line. Like this. And we really don't do components with these guys. It's supposed to be for the bus, but let's do it anyway. This is neat. Because um, we already do these on other planets, so we should have been doing this a long time ago. We want warpers, first off, for, right off the bat over here. And we don't want to mess with them, so let's just do that. We want a couple of ships, because warpers... Well, this is going to be actually the supply for this, right? So we want maybe 30 ships. We also want uh, logistics dudes, and we want to bring in this guy. We want, I don't know, at least 2,000 of this. Maybe 3,000. Remote demand local supply. And then we want gears... We're going to have to... Oh, we're going to have to sideload that. we got to remember to sideload stuff in case the other guys actually can use it. I don't care on the forge, but we should sideload these other guys. Because they're never going to put anything in. Well, unless we run out, I guess. We'll do this guy. We're going to do a thousand of those. We really don't need that many. Remote demand. And then we're going to remote demand gears. A thousand. 
Don't need that many of these. Okay, cool. Now we can just do this. See, the thing is, these are never going to be used again. So why don't we just rip them out? We have to side load. That's the only way to do this. The side load happens in the front, not the back. Side load happens right there. Can't really side load that. How the heck would I do it? I'd have to bring the, the thing over here and then land it again right there. Which there's already a belt kind of in the way. So I could sideload that. How would I sideload this? I could sideload probably both of these, honestly. Well, not that one because it's too jank. Let's just put these in the back. I don't care about sideloading. Let's just... I don't. If these guys don't ever work again, it's fine. I think what the trick here is, is you want to be able to say, if your other build can't solve the problem, at least these guys will work sometimes. So let's do that, let's do that, and then let's just load it in, and then this guy is going to have tons... Then he's going to supply everyone. So we can actually turn this off. That's okay. We'll leave it like that. He's supplying. Everybody's getting supply. Everybody's doing everything. I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, this guy is going to run in this direction. So let's do this. Um, let's do this guy. Like this. And then we'll do this guy. Like that. Now we have tons. When they get here anyway. Which should be very soon. This is kind of neat. I like to see this. Yep, there we go. Now this guy's going to get flooded. And he's going to stop working. Really what we need to do is reroute this. Because that is not fast enough. Let's put another one in. It can't? Why not? Oh. There, now the belt is full. Well, not really full, but... Full enough. Let's do it with the other guy, too, because I think he's going to have the same issue. Well, he's not being used, so... There we go. Belt full. Cool. All right. That's good. Now we, we actually... See, he ran out. So now we're going to still have... You know, while they're going to get more, we've got these guys um, producing. So that's fine. They can do a little bit of a backlog. We have tons more now coming in. That's perfect. Um, so let's get back to this. That is, that is done. Let's just finish this guy that we started over here. He's powered, I believe. Yeah, he's all he's good to go. He wants warpers, because we're going to be moving this stuff around. So let's tell it to get warpers. And then we'll give it some ships. He's only going to really do warpers, so we don't need that many of these guys over here. Let's give him some uh, logistics vessels. He's going to do... Uh, these guys, a thousand of them. And then he's going to do sorters. I guess a thousand too, because there's really, like, 200. It should be plenty for this guy. Okay, cool. Now we just have to route them. Which is a no-brainer. And then we're going to be, yeah, we can probably do something else a little bit here. Let's upgrade all this stuff, because it looks like it's really behind. Let's do double upgrades. It just looks very behind the times here. So, there we go. Alright, this whole build is upgraded. I don't know what this is doing. How are there any Mark IIs in here? This bus should have no Mark IIs. Conveyor belt Mark Ones? Yeah, how's this happening? <laughs> wow, it does have a lot of Mark Ones and Twos on it. Okay, well now it's got... It's upgraded. There we go. So let's... Uh, why didn't it upgrade this? Oh, because I was doing up double upgrades. So let's do this. There. Now these guys are produced a little bit faster. Um, I'm not going to extend... Mm, I'll extend this, I guess. The Mark 1s. Because it makes sense. Let's upgrade this guy too. Let's, let's extend this now. Because we do have more... Well, first, let's do this, because I don't know where it's supposed to go. And then we'll do it back, the backward one. And then we'll do like that. Oh, perfect. Okay, that was exactly right. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put in one of these guys. Good. Now we extend, extended that build or expanded it, which is good. We're using it a lot. Um, we're also doing this in a funky way, so why don't we do it a little bit differently? Why don't we do it 
kind of want to send these back first before they actually build other things. I think that's probably fine. Let's do it like this. Let's do the box trick. Lack of item. Okay, I need to make more boxes. Did I put boxes on here? I probably didn't. I don't think I did. So let's go make some more boxes real fast. That's funky. That's that's funny I didn't put these on the on the mall. I'll definitely do it if there's a season two. I don't think there is going to be, but we will see. So we just need brick and iron. Iron, probably 100, and brick, 100. I don't know how, how many of these we can make with that, but it's probably going to be plenty. Let's make like 20 boxes. Yeah, because we don't need that many boxes, so 20 should be fine, and then we'll deal with the uh, whatever is going on later. There we go, and then let's say we only need like 100 in here, because remember, this is not our... This is just to move them around. And then we can go backward like this. Well, first we got to do that, because it won't work unless we do that. Uh, let's move it back, and I think that's we can expand it one more time, I guess, but we'll just pull it out to here and go down like that. It's a little funky looking, but I don't really care. And then let's fix this. Like that. And then we're going to burst this. No, I want sorters. There we go. And that'll send it back to the mall, basically. All right, let's do this with splitters as well. Splitters really don't do anything, so they're just going to go like this and then go up to. They don't supply any other build. And we can't really do anything with these things, so why don't we just go to here and then drop it down. Because we can't... These literally don't do anything. So there we go. There we go. Splitters are done. We just have to burst them now. There we go. Cool. Hopefully they're pretty fast. Oh, they're pretty fast. I like it. I like it. Alright, so the mall is done. Interstellar Mall is finished. We're just making a whole bunch of Mark 3s and it takes forever because we don't have a lot of uh, Mark II or Mark I's, really. And these guys consume a Mark II every time, so... Oh, they're done. So now we're backing up on Mark II's, probably. Which, we're done with that, too. Now we should be sending these to the to the mall. Well, once these get filled up. They'll, they'll start sending them to the mall. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Alright. The mall is done. Now, when we go places, we can just request things, or we can tell it to build on certain places, right? That's neat. And we got this guy all solved, too. So it's consuming these very fast because we're building a lot of stuff right now because we just expanded our mall. So this is this is good, though. We're good. Let's see if processors have caught up yet. Probably not. Nope, there are no processors coming in. So we're going to go over to um, NDX Extreme. ND Extreme Pro, because we gotta fi we gotta fi finish this. We gotta figure this out. What is this? Graphene? I wonder why we aren't pulling that. That's weird. We're not remote demanding that, huh? We could we could do it from here. Well, this guy doesn't have warpers. Why doesn't he have warpers? Oh, because everything is local. We don't don't need warpers. All right, let's get one last. Let's get graphene in here because it looks like we're having an issue. I didn't think of that, really. Graphene, let's get a 4,000 of it. But if we do that, why can't we just local supply it from here? Why do we move it to here and then local supply it? That's stupid. We can just take that off. You know? Why? Why? Why don't we do that? We're, gonna, we're, just, we're not going to draw a belt. We're just going to literally local supply this thing. Remote demand. There. Perfect. Okay. Well, it's got to go on the belt. I think that's why we're doing it. Is this going to a belt now? Yeah, it's going on a belt. So that's why we do it. Okay, so let's kill this guy because he's really inconvenient for us now. Not really sure why we did it like that. Nope. Uh, well, it says nothing now. So let's set it to copper. Then let's do another one that's going to be graphene. Like this. And then up and over... Well, we don't... Yeah, let's go up the whole way like a bus would. And then we'll drop it back down. Well, let's kill it, I guess. What? Why isn't it doing it? There we go. Side loading now. So when this guy comes in, he'll just side load where he can. Perfect. Now we have a full belt. Let's, let's upgrade this belt, too. There. Now it'll actually feed in there very, very fast. 
Perfect. Obviously that guy's upgraded. Is this whole thing upgraded? Yeah. Now it should be getting a lot. Just very, very fast. 30 per second. That should be able to keep up. There we go. And there we go. Logistics carrier. Much faster now. Now we get a faster throughput. So it's perfect. What's this guy feeding anyway? Graphite. Going to here. It's feeding. Oh, okay. It's feeding science. Let's go check out science real fast. Then we got to go to an NDX or ND Extreme Pro. So we're mostly just producing white science right now. That's pretty much what we're doing. Everything else is pretty good. Everybody else is running pretty fast. Well, at least green is. Did it, did it up, up our green speed? No, it's 75 still, so it's the same. It's just these guys that are faster. And wow, look at them go. All, we're using all of them now. Well, we're not building up. That means, oh no, we are, we have a box. So we can actually do this. Oh, lack of item. We'll just leave it. It's fine. It's going really fast. We're almost to the next thing already. All right, let's go to NDX or ND Extreme Pro real quick. Um, that he is on what planet? I want to say Greg Flowers. Valk. He's on Valk. Okay, we haven't given into Valk in a while, so this should be cool. Valk. Boom, boom. All right, let's head. Nice. We're getting off Endor finally. Uh, should we pick up stuff before we go? That might be a good idea. What do we have on us? A lot of drones. I don't need that many. I need like 250 maybe would be good. So too many drones. That's not it. Drones. Yep, here we go. Drones. Oh, God, you see, see, see what I'm talking about here? All right, let's put a couple hundred of these guys in there and turn it back to 1,000. <laughs> it's going to have 1,300 now. It's fine. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. We really should do some... You know, resupply while we're here. Uh, we got a lot of this junk on us. All right, cool. So, well, let's actually use our system. Let's use our system. We only have three minutes, so we'll probably just go to Valk and then check out what's going on. And then we're going to use our system. We're going to request... Uh, and then see what it'll give us. We're going to make our request area for Valk and set everything up, which is why we're going to need more boxes. Why don't we just go back? I already know I'm going to need more boxes. Because we need boxes to store everything, and I don't have a place to get boxes. Probably should put that on a Mart, but I don't want to. Let's just get bazillion boxes. Let's get like 100 of them, because we're going to need so many of them, it's going to go out of style here. Let's make... One, two, three... Okay, there we go. 50 boxes should do it. All right, now let's go to Valk. No, seriously, guys. <laughs> and that'll end this episode, but that's cool. We're going to set up our first remote mall. It's like a satellite mall. Pretty cool. Don't want to run into... Oh, we're supposed to drop those orbiter orbitals. Let's do it. Oh, good. We can start dropping them right here. Let's do that to end the episode. Okay, let's do it. Uh, No, really, let's copy. Copy that guy. There we go. Let's set these up. We want more hydrogen. Our hydrogen being kind of a punk before. Don't go too fast because then these guys won't be able to fly, even though they do have a lot of speed. There we go. That guy can't keep up. Come on, guys. Keep up. So I think what I'll do is I'll do that, and I'll wait for him to come back, and then I can speed on to the next one. See if I get ahead of him because I go faster than he does, a lot faster. I think the mech speed actually increases your flight speed. Too close. Ah, we are done. We have used this whole planet now. So that means we're going to have to uh, find... I, have, I know where another one of these guys is. We're going to have to go mine that for um, hydrogen now. So that'll mean we've got a new system probably very, very soon. Soon-ish. Once we fix some problems, we'll be, we'll be expanding. All right, let's hit it. Let's get over to Valk while we're on camera still. We've got about a minute left. And then we'll check out the processor issue, and I'll figure out, I can figure out what I need to do to, uh, to fix it. Then we're going to set up that remote mall on for Valk. And each planet's going to have their own remote mall, and it's going to be have different stuff on it. Because I don't need smelts on any other planet but Cowboy 1981, that's it. At least until Cowboy 1981 fills up, which could happen. That's still theoretical, kind of, because... Okay, Nindy Extreme Pro, um, dead in our sights right there. Actually, I'm looking at the little radar thing on the bottom now. 
That's one thing I learned how to do. And I've got to turn a little bit and stop. There he is. Oh, yeah, let's just use a warp. I don't really care. All right, so let's check this guy out. In fact, we're going to be putting our headquarters up here. So let's just drop the headquarters. And then mm, we don't want to do it right on the center because we want... I think we want to do it like this. And then we can move them around like that. Let's try that. I think it'll be good. Because really the pole is kind of useless. So this will make it have some use at least. Let's do a large pole just to move the power up here. That doesn't work. Oh, it collides. Oh, we don't want that. All right, so let's get this guy power. And then we'll just, I don't know, do this. Because I don't even have any wind turbines. All right, getting this guy power. Let's get him all set up. We want warpers, which we can just pull from this guy. Yeah, we'll just pull warpers from here. That'll give us five things we can actually pull out of this thing. So let's go like this. In the center is fine, because literally this is in the back. And we'll just go warpers. Bam, we're done. We got warpers now. Uh, let's give this guy ships. We don't need ships. We just need the logistics guys to go to other planets. All right, so we don't know what we're going to need yet, though. We don't need power, guys. We're going to go to Ethfo to get those. Let's just check out chip sets, see what's going on here. So green chip sets, doing well, keeping up. Let's just say 10,000 now. Because, well, 8,000 seems fine. Let's just leave it at 8,000. That way we don't, we don't need more. It's not saying, hey, I need more. So let's just say 8,000. Okay, that guy's done. This guy is our problem. We need another one of these. It can't keep up, which means this guy can't keep up because he just can't get enough of those ch uh, components. Right, so we need another component factory. It's maxed. So this guy should be sending 1,000 at a time. Or is it 2,000 now? 1,000. I think we get 2,000 soon-ish, but I'm not positive. So that's good. I mean, but this guy's keeping up with silicon and stuff. He just can't keep up, well... There we go. He can't he can't produce fast enough. So that's what's going on with processors. This guy's doing completely fine. What are we making over here? Oh, Casimir crystals? Yeah, they're not even being used. Probably because we can't get any processors going. This guy's completely cool. Uh, what? Oh, I just passed by one, you think? No. Okay. Then we got um, a split here. Then we got frame shifters or whatever. We've got two of those. And then we should have... I think these are... Yeah, we're good. Okay. So I just need to expand the crystalline factory. Which we'll be doing on the next episode. Because I need processors. That's a problem. I don't want that to be a problem. And it is a problem. Pretty soon we'll run out of quantum chipsets. Then we actually do have a problem. So let's, let's move over here. Do I need green chipsets for this? No. It's literally resources. Okay. That's going to do it for episode 137, I believe it is. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, and like this video as always. And uh, I think we're pretty good. I, I want to see these remote malls. I want to see what they can do. Uh, it's going to take a while for them to all fill up because we're going to be asking for a lot of product. But it's pretty exciting. I can just fly to a planet, pick up everything I need, and start putting it down. So anyway, I will see you on the next episode. Stay frosty.